So let me tell you a little story before we get into the thick of things. Long ago and far away, I don't know how long ago it was, probably whenever this game came out, which I don't really remember exactly when it came out, but there was a time when the LP video game walkthrough, playthrough, commentary community was starting to become bigger that a group of people or individuals or whatever had found out that it was incredibly easy to claim copyright on individuals and get their videos taken down or their channel shut down which had happened to a lot of people thankfully my channel was never shut down though I have received at least two fake copyright strikes uh, over the course of the channel I think I've had four total and they've all been cleared up either through disputing them or through help of machinima but a lot of people have been taken down bigger names too and this was one of the games that when it came out I think DSP had gotten some strikes put on him for this game and I was like you know I'm not even gonna play this game not even gonna touch this game if he's getting strikes whether it's fake or not you know might as well just say fuck it and it turned out that they were fake so I mean that that whole thing blew like almost anything you're gonna get unless it's from Rockstar because Rockstar seems to be pretty uh, Rockstar slash Take Two they seem to be pretty uppity on stuff that goes up it's kind of iffy for them but everything else is is normally fair game so long as you stick to release dates or you get written permission to do the game before the release date you get like a review copy so this game was passed up a while ago and a couple months ago I had actually gotten it and played it to see if it was any good and I actually like the game the only problem with it is that it is uh, incredibly short it's only like four four and a half hours maybe five depending on uh, how quick you go through it and the other problem with the game is if you're a splinter cell purist you're probably not gonna like the direction they took the game because this game is more suited for someone like me where there's minimal stealth and even if you or even if you can go through the whole game stealthily, which I assume you can, but even if you can, like, it really does. I mean, it's not the same as the original ones. Like, I had played and beaten the first one when it came out forever ago, and uh, that's a pretty big surprise because I am terrible at stealth, and I usually don't like stealth games. But I did play and beat it when it first came out, and it is completely different from this game. As you can tell, I've already beaten the game like I had talked about a couple months ago, and I said, like, when I had time, I would do it. I have really nothing to do right now, so I guess I'll jump in and we'll see what this is gonna do, whether it'll be cool or not. I actually like the game, like I had said, so hopefully you guys do too. We'll just go through it on, on normal, and this is like, oh yeah, you know, save game, blah blah blah. Hopefully everything goes alright with this game. There are a couple parts that are more stealth heavy than the others, where if you don't go stealth, you get completely butt fucked. Just do what you have to do. But we'll see I how it goes. Do, Sam. I always do. And shot. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to... Make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. And she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up turned him loose and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left her at Echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name. And he found somewhere to go looking. A city right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept these compliments of 
That's a nice little headset and a handy dandy phone to use. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. I guess you better do as you're told, huh? Look up. Got it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position. And from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you caring? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. Eh, who gives a shit? That's very noble of you. Fuck them. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. These aren't even real civilians, they're fake. Like, who, who cares? But, the thing about this game is that it's a, it's a little bit weird in how you take cover and whatnot, so you got, uh, we got this thing. Let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. I'm there. Hang on. I'm tapping into the city's power grid. That'll let me overload the transformers near you and blow out those lights. That'd be helpful. I mean, it is Splinter Cell. There's gotta be some, uh... Oh, there you go. There's gotta be some stealth. Also, those lights took a really long time to freaking end. 20 years ago, a nice young Sam Fisher. No gray. Pretty stacked. He's still pretty stacked in his 40s or 50s. I don't know how old he is, but... Controls of this game are a little bit odd. There's also an invisible wall here, and a door that's clearly open. I cannot go in the room. Shut up, Sarah! For the love of God. There you go. What's up? Daddy's here. How's it going? What do you want? Hey, kiddo. What's wrong? Go to sleep. Can't you turn the damn light on yourself, you lazy son of a bitch? Must be. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. Even though you're still my daughter? Go to sleep with the light on. And a girl, still a son of a bitch. There you go, turn the lights off. Now go to sleep! When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? No! Okay. Damn it! Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me! Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? It's glowing in the dark, Sam. Underneath it, because I can see it. Maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Speaking of monsters... Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and be back real soon, alright? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay oh yeah, bed. let's cut out right at that moment. Go, Nice and dark, just the way you like it. So we have to shoot the thugs. Ah, oh, damn it. Whatever. Yeah, this game has uh, some pretty odd aiming, where you have to like click. Uh, see, the left, the left stick is. Uh, I see. I, I haven't been used to this at all. Like I haven't played this at all for a while. You got, man. You got anything good? Are they just robbing the place? You picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now Shit. you're talking. Oh, hey, look at that. To execute. Hand-to-hand -hand kill. And I guess we'll hit B. There goes you. Hand-to-hand -hand kills give you the ability to execute. Which I think you just have to press, like, select. Oh, no, it's... Aim. Oh, okay. The right, uh, the right bumper. There you go. Press Y to execute. That is, like, so random. I don't know, after like probably a little bit into the game, 
it'll be easy and Dad, fluid, but what did you do to them, Dad? They're Sam, fine, they're sleeping. Sam. What are you doing, Daddy? What, what are you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. They're just sleeping. Don't worry about it. They'll get up. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. So yeah, you know, we'll, we'll get past the whole uh, controls are weird type thing after not too long. Where the hell's my gun at? Why is my... Oh, damn it. You want me to... Yeah, they won't even let me do anything until I hand-to-hand -hand kill this doucher. There's that. So now I gotta mark these guys, and then hit Y, and both dead. No matter what's in front of us, they're both dead. Also, I have infinite ammo. Oh, I think you always have infinite ammo for this stupid pistol. I don't think it even matters. But, uh, oh, man. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. Yeah, let's go ask him, wherever the hell he's at. Move cover to cover, got it. Need to do little slidey slides and stuff. I don't even know if I have to kill any of these. Interrogate some guy. I, that's what I liked about this game, too. It would basically tell you, like, what you needed to do through kind of what I would consider clever ways of doing so. At any rate, get some awesome assassinations going. Wow, look at that. Look at that. I'm reload and get the fuck out of here. He's the only one left. Oh, I didn't want to go over there. What the hell's that? Oh, he's running now. What a son of a bitch. That was very fluid there. That was very fluid. We'll just chase him down.